Nom Nom delivers fresh food with whole ingredients, backed by veterinarian science. Science tells us that a dog's health starts in the bowl, so improving their diet is one of the best ways to help them live a long and happy life. Nom Nom's food is full of proteins your dog loves and the vitamins and nutrients they need to thrive. All you have to do is order, pour, and serve. Ready to make the switch to fresh? Order Nom Nom today. Go to https colon slash slash trinom.com forward slash curveball and get 50% off your first order plus free shipping. That's https colon slash slash T-R-Y-N-O-M dot com forward slash curveball. Plus, Nom Nom comes with a money back guarantee. If your dog's tail isn't wagging within 30 days, Nom Nom will refund your first order. No fillers, no nonsense, just Nom Nom. Welcome to the Living the Dream podcast with Curveball. If you believe, you can achieve. achieve, achieve. Hello and welcome to another episode of Living the Dream with Curveball. I am your host, Curveball, and today I am joined by Matt Burke. He is the founder of Magic Minds Foundation, as well as the Magic Minds Podcast. Matt, thank you so much for joining me today. Lovely to join you, Curtis. Uh, thanks very much for inviting me on to your show. Uh, it's a privilege to be connected from here in Ireland all the way over to the States. I'm, I'm honored. Absolutely. From, the, from Ireland to the United States. Why don't you start off by telling everybody a little bit of background about yourself, where you're from and anything else that you would like the audience to know. Yeah, thanks very much. I'm from a place in Dublin called the Liberties. Uh, it's a working class area. It's an absolutely fantastic place. I live not so far away from the Guinness Hop Store, maybe 30 seconds walk. So it's a, it's a beautiful area. There does be a lot of tourists, unfortunately not at the moment because of the whole COVID situation. Uh, as you kindly says, I'm the host of the Magic Minds podcast and creator of the Magic Minds Foundation. Stories to have the power to inspire. Um, yet like yourself, I'm a fellow podcaster, but I also work in a hospital. I work in brain injury rehabilitation where I work with adults with acquired brain injury. So that's what I do outside uh, uh, Nine to five, but outside of that, then I'm, I'm all running everything, Magic Minds podcast and the foundation. So that's what I'm up to at the moment. Well, let's talk about your foundation. What made you get, get started with your foundation and, and uh, talk about all that your foundation does for the community? Yeah, look, I, uh, the Magic Minds Foundation is the name of the company, but the work we do is is we, you know, we, we record interviews with people that have inspirational stories. You know, I started that in 2017 slash 18. I just had an idea that I want to, to really get out there and interview people. But I also work in a hospital where I'm uh, exposed to, you know, people that have traumatic brain injury, but have amazing stories. Their journey is incredible. And I'm also lucky enough to work with some amazing healthcare professionals, such as psychiatrists, uh, psychotherapists, you know, um, you know, some really, really interesting people are interested in stories. Not only do they inspire me, the patients inspire me. And I, I come from a background with no education. So I want to bring those inspiration stories back to my community. You know, I've had difficulties myself in life and I went back to, and retrained and re-educated. So any opportunity to get, I try to bring that education back to my community so people can understand that ex accessible uh, to them too just like mental health I didn't know that there was a whole new world out there of you know uh, being able to heal yourself so anything I do is always in service of my community uh, or people like me and when I say community I don't just mean geographical courses uh, I mean 
<clears throat> male, female, any human being, anyone that connects me around the world can be in my community. If you're a fellow struggler or not, or a family member of a fellow struggler, and you can hear the story of the Magic Wines podcast, hopefully that'll spur you or your family to, to heal yourself through love, kindness, compassion, understanding, and forgiveness, you know? Absolutely. Um, what kind of project, projects does Magic Minds have coming up? Uh, you guys got any books, any speaking engagements? Uh, what, what kind of things do you guys have coming up in 2021? Uh, well, I just released a book. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just released a book there the other day. Well, it's book slash journal, but most of all, it's a mental health toolkit. It's called My Head to My Heart. And it's a book, Curtis, that illustrates how I've moved from my head to my heart using creativity, love, kindness, compassion, understanding and forgiveness and gratitude. But it also has poetry as well, you know. So it's a, it's a collection of all my thoughts, feelings, emotions, and then all my poetry I've wrote over the last number of years. And then also tools and tips and pieces to help people mind their little self you know that may be struggling with mental health or want to you know uh, practice mindfulness meditation or just being present so that just came out to the day uh, it's getting lots of reviews from people people are really liking it. it's very timely around this time you know with the whole covid situation because to be honest Curtis, i've had you know, what I would say, COVID all my life. To me, COVID is just another opportunity to be fearful, to be anxious, to have dread and worry. You know, it's like the Scooby-Doo character. You know, COVID is just wearing a different mask than, you know, than cancer, HIV, dementia, coronary heart disease. Again, it's just fear provoking. You know, not being disrespectful or minimizing the, the concern that people should have, but it does invoke fear and terror into people. And I've had that all my life being a struggle or of anxiety, depression, mental health problems. So when COVID came along, that's what I saw. It's another opportunity to be worried about something. And I think like anything, like coronary heart disease or cancer or anything, you have to protect yourself, but it does create panic in people. And so when it came to the Magic Minds podcast, we we really, uh, we really stepped up around that time. And then actually we, we start working on the book and, you know, I have a couple of programs called Mind Your Little Self, a six-week program. And I also have a, a program called Next Level, which is the next one after Mind Your Little Self. It's called uh, Clarity and Success because it's usually always when we have clarity that we, we tend to find success, you know? Absolutely. I do know. Now talk about that Magic Mind podcast. Uh, kind of, you know, tell us where we can check it out and kind of what it's about, how long it's been going, and, and what's the uh, future for the Magic Mind podcast? Ah, uh, yeah, the Magic Minds podcast, you know, uh, it started in 2017 uh, slash 18, as I said, Curtis, and I say it was just, it was just an idea to go out and interview people, but little did I know I was on a journey of finding a platform where I could use creativity to to heal myself and tell my story. I probably was a little bit afraid to, 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 to tell my story, but it just just happened by a coincidence or divine timing, let's say. And, uh, you know, as I was interviewing all these powerful people, I decided, you know, to get some, some coverage, I'll start putting out videos, giving my thoughts, answering questions from people. And then, you know, it would really hit home to people in my community. You know, I'd be talking about mental health or my insecurities or my vulnerability. And as I say, people in my community reach out to me and be inspired, you know, fellow men and women of all ages from naught to 90 uh, would reach out and say, I inspired them, that I, I keep it real. So although the podcast has brought great healing and inspiration to my community, it's helped me also heal and, and inspire other people. So it was, a, it was nearly like a two-way street. We've probably now I think released about 92 interviews and I've done over a couple of maybe a hundred and something that we haven't released yet or we've done other ones online other on social media like Facebook uh, but yeah it's just growing it's, it, it's growing across the world and you know uh, and it's all in service of people healing and that's my message uh, Curtis is 
you know, I want to inspire you, the listeners, to uh, to, to heal yourself through love, kindness, compassion. And it's basically just holding a mirror up to people and say, you know, you too can heal yourself. Because when you're going through struggles and, and difficulties in your mind, you, you know, it's, it's hard to see. Uh, beyond that and we can show you that I can true or we can true you know it's it's a it's a positive message isn't it really absolutely and and is there a podcast on all podcast platforms or how can listeners listen to it yeah we've got a we're on you know Spotify we're on iTunes we're on Anchor FM and Podbeam we're across all the way we've got a, a YouTube channel uh, Magic Minds YouTube. We're on all the social media platforms: Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Yeah, we uh, LinkedIn. We're across all those uh, platforms. You know, we, we, we're quite active, and we've got a good following. Uh, and the one thing, Curtis, that I've, I've 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 learned over the three years that I've been doing this, you know, everyone has a different story, but we we all have the same feelings, you know. We might have different stories, but we go through the same struggles and grief and stress. And, you know, and if we can show people, you know, through our work that we're all so, so similar. And that's the one thing I think COVID situation has shown me. You know, it doesn't matter whether you have a million in the bank or you have 20 cent in the bank. You know, we can still have the same worries and panic and death anxiety and uh, and how, how similar all us human beings are if we just... Uh, listen out and watch out for each other and be kind, you know? Yes. Is there anything else that we haven't talked about that you would like to touch on? Uh, Tell me a little bit about yourself, Curtis. Tell us a little bit about you and the work you're doing over there. Well, as far as me, I just graduated from broadcasting school here in July with academic excellence. I do internet radio as well as podcasting. I just started this podcast uh, three months ago, and basically what I do on this podcast is I interview guests that can motivate and inspire, because you never know when a word or encouragement might save somebody's life. It might encourage them to do something that they were scared to do, or it might bring them to new heights. So I'm just basically trying to get out there, get my brand out there, get my following through my radio shows, as well as my podcast, I want to motivate and inspire. And that's a little bit about me wow. in a nutshell. Brilliant. Uh, I absolutely love your voice. You've got an amazing voice uh, for radio. Uh, it's sweet and it's very soulful. Uh, and you too inspire me because I know, are you partially sighted or are you completely blind? I am totally blind. I've been totally blind since birth due to congenital glaucoma. And wow, that's inspirational. I work, with, as I say, I work in brain injury rehab and I work with somebody that's, uh, he's had a brain injury and uh, he's also, uh, he was partially blind, but now he's gone fully blind now. And, you know, it's, it, that in itself is inspiring, you know, that the, the resilience and the will to keep on going and the, the problem solving and the uh, yeah the sure determination it's just fantastic you know just you doing this interview with me just it's it's brilliant it's absolutely you know, I'm inspired by fellow podcasters but you uh, doing this is brilliant too so I appreciate that well let me ask um, how is the uh, blind services in Ireland do you guys have any training centers or how does the public react to blind people there is uh are things accessible for them or do you know yeah we look we have uh, the the national council for the blind nc and the national i can't think of the, the, there's a couple of letters for it we have that and they're an absolutely great service we i'm in the national rehabilitation hospital and we've linked in with those guys and they're absolutely brilliant they come out to our place and uh, to teach to, to teach us to give us some training around when we had this young man on our service you know like the how do we how do we uh, uh how do we uh, support them? Because we've never worked with somebody blind um, because we're just specifically brain injury. We had a brain injury and um, the blindness. So it was, it was fantastic for us to learn with someone, you know, uh, it was really an eye opener for me to work with somebody, you know, because 
we work, as I say, with the brain, we, we've never worked with something like that. So we want to help them, but then they, they also want to have their independence. And uh, yeah, it, it was fantastic. I, I done an interview, Curtis, with a guy called Aaron O'Neill. He works in a radio station. Uh, I must link you in with him. Uh, he works in a radio station. And he has a podcast himself, actually. And he, he came on mine and he was talking to us about the difficulty he's had in... Uh, Ireland due to the COVID. You know, as you know, Curtis, a lot of the stuff, you know, you, you touch with your hands because you can't see. So then you're exposed to, you know, the elements that may be contaminated with COVID. You know, you have to touch lights and you have to uh, hold handrails. And, and it was a difficult experience. And then people trying to help you. So there was no social distancing then, you know, he's getting on the buses and you know, it, was, it was a scary time. How was that for you, actually? around that time you uh um i mean i just been normal as possible i'm i'm pretty much a social distancing type of person anyway i mean i don't really like crowds because i like to hear what's going on you know and i i go where i need to go when i i do what i need to do and, and that's pretty much it so i just you know do what i have to do i feel like it's in god's hands if god means for me to get it then I will if if it if he means for me to survive it I will, so I just uh, trust in him and just uh, keep going as best as I can. Shit, yeah. that's a that's a phenomenal attitude, uh, Cordes. I love it. Uh, do you have a deep spiritual practice? Are you are you, are you practicing? Are you a Christian or what's your 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 back? If you don't want me asking, yes, I believe in Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, and you. There's always going to be something out there, but but if you let this stuff beat you down, it will. And once you become depressed, your immune system is going to go down, so you have a better chance of the virus getting you. And, and sometimes it get distre- gets stressful, but you just have to uh, lean on God for him to pick you up when you're down, but, because you can't just be down. I mean, you, you got to do what you have to do. We all know w- w- where this is headed, but we just got to keep going and doing what we have to do until it's over. Yeah, and that's in court. That's fantastic. I have a similar attitude to yourself. You know, I believe in the, I believe in God. I, I'm probably not a practicing Christian, although I was baptized and christened as a Christian. I, I probably wouldn't practice Catholicism, uh, but I'm, I'm a huge believer of God and God being in our heart as in love and the universe. And my attitude to life is, you know, your, your mind and your body will believe whatever you tell it and put into it, you know, and I've got a strong faith that I will be okay and all will be okay. Uh, and if I'm due to, to, to go or get sick, it, it will happen. But I just don't believe it to be because I believe that all will be well. Uh, and that's probably why I show up and turn up on it with the whole situation to show people that, you know, uh, if you believe in yourself and you feed your mind the right uh, thoughts, feelings and emotions, <laughs> It will believe it. our brain is subjective. It's not objective. It'll believe whatever we tell it. And we tell it we're going to be okay. And God is good and it'll mind us and love us in our heart. Uh, it'll, it'll soak that up, won't it? Absolutely. And that's one reason why I started my podcast, like I say, to give people words of encouragement and have different type of people on. Let, let people hear, hear these stories and be motivated and inspired by them. And if they go ahead and check out your podcast, they're going to be motivated and inspired as well. Yeah, you remind me of, uh, you're, I've done an interview with a guy just a couple of few weeks ago, uh, Jeff Thompson. He's a BAFTA winning award writer. He's done the foreword for my book, and he is just a vessel for love from God. You know, you should check out some of his work. He's a phenomenal human being, but uh, you seem uh, very like him. You know, you seem to be the a vessel for God and love and, and connection and it's very inspiring. It's absolutely fantastic to actually get the ch- chance to talk to you. I feel privileged. Oh, well, I definitely uh, appreciate you coming on. Anything else that you want to say, you know, before we uh, before we close it out and head to the bullpen? No, I, I'm good. I just, I would just uh, encourage people to be kind, practice kindness, compassion and understanding for yourself. And when you do that, you're a better human being for your family, your community and the universe. When you're kind to you, you're kind to the world. You you just see the world through a a kinder 
more compassionate prism, you know. Uh, yeah, that's it. And thanks very much for the opportunity to come up to come on your show. Thanks very much. Really appreciate it. Oh, anytime. And listeners, remember, be kind to someone today. Matt, thank you so much for joining me. Cordis Jackson, thanks very much. I'm honored. God bless you to you all. For more information on the Living the Dream podcast, visit www.djcurveball.com. Until next time, stay focused on living the dream. dream.